Trump hammers the DNC, leaving them no choice but to turn over the server by Amy Moreno. For truthfeednews.com, the biggest question of the day is, where the hell is the DNC server? We're supposed to just believe that 12 angry Russians hacked the DNC when the DNC has refused to turn over their servers to the FBI? No. And President Trump has them on the ropes and it's giving the DNC no choice but to cough everything up. Uh, they're not going to do that. From Breitbart, President Donald Trump called on the Democratic National Committee during his press conference with Russian President uh, Vladimir Putin in Finland on Monday to hand over its server to the FBI to prove Russia hacked into it. Associated Press reporter Jonathan Lemmeyer asked Trump if he believes U.S. intelligence agencies that say Russia interfered in the election or Putin assertion that Russia did not and if uh, he would denounce that interference and tell Putin to never do it again. Well, Trump said he has confidence in both parties but added he would like to see the DNC hand over its server. Yeah, no, we're not going to take the word of anybody. We want to see the server. Let's see the proof. Don't just, anybody can come out with any, any, uh, and look how they fight Trump all the way. So we're, go so in other words, they're trying to catch Trump in a trap when, to say, uh, you know, he doesn't believe the intelligence uh, community over, he believes the Russians over the intelligence community. So Trump called him out on that and said, hey, we want to see the server. We're not, uh, you know, show us the proof. Let's go, you know. So uh, I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be Russia. There you have it. But I really don't want to, I really do want to see the server, he said. The DNC refused to turn it over, uh, its servers to authorities, and instead had a private company, CrowdStrike, examine it for forensic evidence. CrowdStrike attributed the hacking to two Russian groups, Fancy Bear and Cozy Bear. Trump also said he wanted to see the House Democratic Caucus server, handled by former DNC chairwoman, Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz's former IT aide, Imran Awan, who went missing. Yeah, let's see that. What happened to the servers of the Pakistani gentlemen that worked on the DNC? Where are those servers? They're missing. Why? Where are they, he asked, right? He also asked what happened to the emails from Clinton's homebrewed email server that said, she, uh, said were personal and could not be removed. 33,000 emails gone, just gone, I think, in Russia, they wouldn't be gone so easily, and that I can guarantee you myself. I think it's a disgrace that what we can't get Hillary Clinton's 33,000 emails, he said. Yeah, why can't we get it? Because they're all in cahoots with Hillary Clinton being paid off the big bucks, you know? So, I uh, have great confidence in my intelligence people. Yeah, only a select few are on the hook of treasonous activity. It's not the whole intelligence uh, people. But I will tell you that President Putin was extremely strong and powerful in his denial today, Trump told Lemire. He noted Putin's offer for U.S. officials to work with Russian investigators to question those whom special counsel Robert Mueller indicted. What he did is an incredible offer. He offered to have the people working on the case come and work with their investigators with respect to the 12 people, Trump said. How you like them apples, uh, Mueller? Putin said Mueller could send questions for the 12 indicted Russian military intelligence officers and potentially attend interviews if the U.S. would be willing to reciprocate with those in the U.S. whom the Russians believe have committed crimes in Russia, meaning the couple of people in the intelligence community that helped Clinton funnel the $400 million out of Russia. How about them apples now? But no, now they're trying to cover it up with protests that Trump is treasonous. Really? Really? Really, folks? Give it up. You are losing and losing big time. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, 
Thank you so much for watching.